Get to making with Jive Boy Station. When it hits you, yes, Bougie Duchess here, and good Sunday morning to you. Oh, this is a segment of Café con Leche, but I want you to know something. We are just going to be videoing continuously the entire morning. We're going to do Café con Leche. Then we will segue into a makeup tutorial. And then we will segue into hot topics. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. Let me get... Let, speaking of Café con Leche, let me go ahead and do something about the lighting here. I don't know if you guys noticed. But I, I'm redoing the kitchen. I put in, um, I, I put in some, some wooden blinds. They just, they open up like this. They are, I love them. They are lovely, and um, it lets air come through. And yet, I don't have to look at anything outside. There's a marijuana dispensary over there. I'd rather not look at. <laughs> oh, here we are. So, you know, I've, I've been kind of busy doing all kinds of things. But uh, first, let me go ahead and copy this and start pasting it around or pasting it. Let's see. We are live. Oh, too many dots. So I don't know, if you, I'm sitting here, I'm typing in, uh, we are live, check it out, and then I'm going to paste the link below, control B, huh, let me see if it automatically huh I wonder why let's see okay huh let me see if I can go to the live videos no 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 all right go to the live video let me, let me see if I can pull it from the line video. All right, here we are. Happening now. Here we go. All righty. I am copying this. Let's go back here. I'm going to delete that. Delete it. Delete. All right. All right. We are live. Check it out. All right. Control V. Aha. There we go. That's what I'm wanting. Alrighty, and so that's what I'm posting. Okay, so there we are. I've posted that. Oh, let me have another sip of coffee. So uh, what I'm going to do is just stay continuously live, and along the way, post it to all, all of the groups that I belong to, and try and pump up my... Um, my um oh thank you i love that okay i love you too my darling i, I i'm hoping i say it right vikram vikram hmm i you know there's only two types of men that i like foreign and domestic okay so i let me love that too Thank you so much. Okay, 
So let me keep the live producer open. Let me run around. Alrighty. Hi Robert. Hi Jose. Hi Delmi. So this is this is what I'm gonna do. Is uh, we're gonna just keep running continuously all morning long. This part of the segment is Café con Leche. It's a raw version of what I do. I'm here with curlers in my hair, no makeup, fresh face, uh, fresh from the shower, all cleaned, everything nicely taken care of. And um, so what I will do later is I will edit the segments separately. But I guess what I'm doing here is... Uh, uh, oh, you're domestic, okay, uh, is I'm go giving you kind of like a behind-the-scenes look at how I do everything and how I prepare uh, the studio, and, and just, it will run continuously, so you'll, I'm welcoming you into my life in an unedited version today, and we'll see how that does, and we'll see Hopefully that will pump up viewership, which is what I'm trying to do um, because YouTube has informed me that I'm three quarters of the way to being monetized on YouTube, which would really be great because it would be cha-ching and everybody loves cha-ching. So, um, and you know, there's a lot of things that I do around here. Um, if you take a look back there, I, I, I just put up those, uh, I, I, I love those, in, in Florida we called them hurricane shutters, and we would have them on all the windows because just in case, if, you know, during a hurricane, if the glass ever broke or something like that, this would keep the uh, debris from coming in the house. It, I, I like them better than the blinds. And you could, uh, you could actually open and close them. Hi, Bo. Bo just came in. He's licking my toes. I love that. I used to tell him $50. Now I just, just let him do it for free. So, anyway. Okay. E e e enough of the silliness there. Uh, alrighty. So, um, okay. So, getting back to... So there's some, there's some things, hi Tiffany, how are you? So there are some things that are quite disturbing that I saw on my Facebook feed earlier this morning, okay? One of them is my girlfriend Desiree, okay? And, and you, this is a topic that really needs to be talked about more often. Now, this is what I believe, you know, I, I, I believe, you know, as a transgender woman, like you're doing well. Haven't seen you since the nest blew up. Ah, oh, <laughs> yes, it has been a while. Uh, so uh, this is what this is one of the things that I think needs to be discussed about on hot topics. So, um, as a transgender woman, I have always believed that, in, in general, some of us will pass and can, uh, and it's not that we're trying to fool the public or in any way, shape, or form. We're just trying to live our lives and blend in with, without the disturbance that goes on with a, a repercussion, racism, the whole thing that's been going on currently. And so, especially for a transgender woman, we have to be especially careful because we don't know when somebody is going to be so hateful that they think that our life should be extinguished because of what it is we have done. Which I think what it is I have done is I have found my happiness. You know? Anyway, so my, my girlfriend Desiree, she, she's, uh, she's um, at a market and um, two young men who are also of the LGBTQ community. So a lot of times it's our very own brothers and sisters that throw us right under the bus. And for that, shame, shame, shame. You are so wrong for doing such a thing. 
That is a big no-no. But anyway, you know, uh, they're sitting there and openly having a discussion trying to figure out my girlfriend's teeth. And um, that's just not appropriate in public spaces. It's really not appropriate. Listen, I used to work at Pierce College, and any time the conversation got around to what was going on in my panties, I would stop that conversation right there, and I would say, that, number one, is none of your business, not part of the academics here, and we will keep this discussion focused on what we need to take care of here and now. And what goes on in my panties is none of your business. Sometimes the question of your voice is a little deep. I says, you try smoking cigarettes for 42 years and drinking whiskey and let's see what you sound like. I don't care. I can defend myself. Not only will I defend myself, but you might not like what comes spilling out of my mouth. Because I've been in situations when I was much younger. I was in the ladies' room. This happened in Dallas, Texas. Woo! 35 years ago. In Dallas, Texas. And one of the women figured out my business. And she told me I was in the wrong bathroom. And I turned around and I looked at her and I said, you know what? You may be right. You may be thinking that I should be in the bathroom with your husband, your daddy, your son, your brother, your uncle, your fiance, any other man that you might love or care about. That's the bathroom I should be in. And she caught her breath. And she said, Oh, maybe you are in the right bathroom. I said, whatever, and I went about my business. That's just the way I take care of myself. That's just the way I defend myself in a situation where people think I don't belong. It was a different time 35 years ago. 35 years ago, girls like us were a rarity. And this is what I believe. I, I believe you can fool some of the people some of the time. You might even be able to fool most of the people most of the time. But there is no way on God's green earth you're going to fool all of the people all of the time. I know. I've walked around. I've tried in this life. It doesn't always happen that way. But. I live a more authentic self today. I know one thing. Since the age of 13, in my heart and soul, I have always been a woman. You cannot argue that point with me. That emanates from within. Many of my friends, prior to me having gender-affirming surgery, have always told me, I just always considered you as a woman. Many of my boyfriends have always considered me a woman with a birth defect. It's fine. It's life. I think we are all on this earth in different forms, in different capacities, to learn from each other. I think to extinguish somebody because of color, because of shape, size, or mental abilities is an absolute horrific act against man, humanity, and God. Because you're not practicing acceptance. You're not practicing love. You're not practicing the custodial care that you should be practicing in taking care of the planet your neighbors, yourself, and each other. You're not spreading love. This message of hate has to end. And unfortunately, 
in our leadership that we have in our government, it's just horrendous. Just horrendous. So I want to give a shout out to my girlfriend Desiree. She really handled herself well. I, I get it in this situation where um, she feels that she may have been, uh, you know, uh, disrespected. I, I think she was assaulted, if you ask me. Um, but once again, I think it's one of those things that uh, it, it happens and, and we have to learn to get around it. That's the phone. And you know what? I'm going to have to probably mute that. Let's see who it is, though. Okay. I discovered... I discovered... I haven't stole my sweatshirt. Oh, I, I don't know. Oops, sorry. Had that conversation out loud. No, I'm filming. There we go. Now let me go ahead and mute this, so that way, that way it only just vibrates. There we go. Okay. So, you, you know, in this Facebook thing, sometimes I can get stuck on this thing. Woo! Forever. Let me, okay. So, hi, Andre. Let me say some hellos to everybody. Hi, Cindy. Hi, David. Good morning to your love. Let me, let me give, let me give out some love here. Good morning, Lamar. Good morning, Neil. Alrighty. Uh, I, I wish I understood, uh, Arabic lettering or Middle Eastern lettering. I don't, but good morning to my Middle Eastern friends. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Loves and kisses. Okay, so Cindy is on her way over here. I need to make a fresh pot of coffee for her. And, um, so. Oh, and quick little endorsement. Today's creamer is by Coffee Mate, and it is a coconut cream. Yummy. Mwah. I love it. I have a wide variety of cream. Okay, so let's all right. Alrighty, I put in I love percolated coffee. I think it's yummy, yummy, yummy.
go. Got that taken care of. I'll be right back. Let me go get a washcloth because the next segment on the Bougie Duchess is going to be my makeup tutorial. And we'll take care of that next. Here I am, still got my café con leche, oh, I love seeing all of these little bubbles with the love going on, just amazing, okay, let me see, what, what can I do here, how can I, can I invite friends, let's see. Let's see. I invited somebody. There we go. I invited Carol. Let's see if she shows up. I invite Sophie. I invite Rebecca. I also invite Sabrina. I haven't seen her in a while. Okay. I invite Anthony. I did not know I could invite people. Here we go. I'm inviting people. There we go. And, oh, and David. All right, he's done. Let's see if people show up. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that invite thing works. But okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. So, let's the next thing I also wanted to do was, alrighty, uh, so, uh oh, there we go, control C, alright. Go back. Yeah, go back. There we are. Bye. Let me see. All right. All right. And so I'm going to share this. Oh. Let me, let me see all of the groups. Okay. Alright, say something. Alrighty. Control V. I'm not sure that that's what I wanted to do, but fine. Okay. Let's see.
I'm just posting things to a group. Sorry. Oh, it was sent for approval to an administrative. Okay. Let me share this with some of the LGBT groups that I belong to. Okay. Right now, let me share in another group. So much, so much to do. I'd rather do this, I guess, during Café con Leche. Okay. Alright. Let's... Uh oh, sorry, we're having trouble with playing. 